entered the five-mile test oval at the Chrysler Proving Grounds. The event, performance checks of the production model gas turbine car. This was the culmination of tens of thousands of miles in road experience and improved design, resulting in a gas turbine engine specifically adapted to the exacting requirements of today's motorist. These were the trials before this new car was released for limited evaluation by selected users. Seventy-five miles an hour and running steady in a smooth, vibrationless, trouble-free ride, passing rugged endurance and power requirements with ease. But the turbine car is not a special car designed for limited types of performance. This is a car for people, for doctors, housewives, school teachers, average people with average as well as extreme driving requirements. This is a thoroughly tested, thoroughly practical car to meet modern driving needs. Here is a car with power engineered for safe and ready acceleration when needed on the highway. The now perfected heat exchanger ensures excellent efficiency from the engine and a cool, clean exhaust even at sustained high-speed driving. Now, on to the twisting, torturous side roads at the proving ground. Roads scientifically planned to tax the strength, maneuverability, and control of any car. The turbine-powered automobile passed these grueling tests. Here is a car designed for easier maintenance, free of periodic oil changes and seasonal tune-ups. Here is full power potential for instant acceleration and outstanding climbing ability. Through the action of the variable nozzles, the driver is assured the same control he can get in the best conventional passenger car, even on the steepest grades. Here, indeed, is an engineering breakthrough worthy of the painstaking experimentation, constant testing, designing, and redesigning that went into it. The light, compact, reliable, easy to maintain, economical to operate, Chrysler Automotive Gas Turbine Engine. tremendous potential of the turbine to satisfy power plant needs for propelling automobiles more smoothly and dependably than before opens the possibility of an exciting new chapter in the history of motoring and gives the automobile a running start in the jet age.